repeat yourself? Mrs. Garland, please. This is Jenna. How can I help you? Yes, I spoke with um, someone in um, the integrity unit, and he never called me back, and I came in, and I just can't really seem to get anything resolved for years. So I showed police when I went, I was at New Beginnings. I was ran off the road going to New Beginnings around maybe May, uh, February of 2019, uh, 20, May, uh, February, like March, somewhere around that time. So I had a lot of crazy events getting in there. There was even cars stopped on the freeway, two cars on uh, side by side. I reported it to Mesquite police, but they would not investigate it. So then someone eventually just ran me off the road. So I recorded it with my phone, got license plate. The person stepped out the car and everything and tried to intimidate me. I was out the car recording it. So I get to New Beginnings and Garland terrified because I have been ran off the road and there were cars stopped on the freeway. So anyway, I get there and I show staff how I was ran off the road and police came and were bullied me with the footage and then in fact told the shelter to set an appointment a month away. Have you already uh, spoken with that's what I'm calling today to, to get a resolution because obviously I'm not safe and not my calls haven't been returned. He said he reviewed the camera footage. He it, Can you look? Because he said he saw it. And now I went to I another would, police report. I would be able to look. I can get you to internal affairs or to the police. Service. I want to speak with a live person. Can you make sure it's a live okay. person because my life is in jeopardy as it's been years? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hold on one second. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Transfer back okay. into the That's queue again. Back. Uh, yes, I'm not quite sure where to get directed to because I keep calling internal affairs and they're not returning my calls. Are you able to look up my information on file? Okay. Um, what is your last name? Okay, you got my information? Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you see where I reported that someone ran me off the road? Do you have a report number? No, that's why I gave you, that's why I just gave you my information. What was your name? Okay. Um, I don't see a report for that. Okay, what do you see a report for? Uh, the last one I see, I see some criminal trespassing, and then um, some concern for welfare. But, um, so they lied and gave me a criminal trespass when I was reporting abuse and said it was a concern for welfare and criminal trespass? Why would they lie again? Okay, so you don't, that's the only thing that you see is crimes that the police are committing? Okay, so what else do you see? It wasn't the police committing this, but, um... It was, if, I, if I'm at a domestic violence organization, have you ever heard of a person getting a criminal trespass at a domestic violence organization? Right, but I mean, you said that it's not a crime. I just never heard of someone getting a criminal trespass at a multitude of locations at domestic violence. I'm sorry? Are you covering for it? Because they also assaulted and arrested me. What was that? Exactly. You have reached the Garland Police Department Professional Standards Unit. If you're calling for information on a citation you received, press 1. They typically don't answer out of corruption. And I go to a voicemail and my calls aren't returned. At extension, Here we 7. Go. Four, they don't five, even want they have zero. voicemails with it's no not names. available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, this is is this for detectives? Yes. Okay. Uh, can I give you my information to see what's going on? Do you have your report number? Um, can I give you my name? Is that okay? Yes. Okay. My name is Kiana K E Y. Can I have your position? Secretary. Your secretary? So you said um, to speak with the detective, press this number. Well, this, um, I pressed to speak with the detective and your secretary? Yeah. Okay, may I have your name? This is Tammy. Tammy, okay. Did you get my name? Yes. Okay. Do you have my information up? No. Okay, so you have my information up? Uh-huh. I'm calling you randomly a uh, receptionist for detectives? So what is the process to get to a detective? Do you get my pull my information up and route me to if, a detective? If you have a report on file. Do I have I'll one on file? Down. You have a, you just pulled up my information? I don't show a report that would be assigned to a detective, no. 
Oh, okay, because I don't understand because I've already spoke, spoke with someone in the professional standards and he did see multiple reports and I don't understand how these reports keep missing, coming up missing all over the place. He said he called me back and he never did. There's hundreds of reports of me getting terrorized that keep on getting uh, disappearing. I just talked to another police department and you guys have evidence of aggravated assault when this car ran me off the road and I showed it to people at this domestic violence organization, New Beginnings and the police. And I showed it to Grand Prairie Police that later detained me. Then I showed um, Dallas Police that's uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon that was recorded. They wouldn't investigate it prior, so it looks like the police department is conspiring to keep me and my family in jeopardy, which is criminal. I don't know if you guys are taking bribes or you're conspirators in whatever this man does for a living that's criminal, but it's crimes that are consistently ignored. Consistently ignored. So how is it that I spoke with someone and he saw it, and now today at 1028, you claim that you don't see anything. What do you see, ma'am? There is no aggravated assault. What do you see, ma'am? Because if you're a scam call and you're trying to tamper with evidence as they do in person, that's criminal. So will you see nothing with my name? Maybe you have it misspelled, ma'am. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check something out. She hung up. I said, let me check something out. And she hung up as they've done years. Obvious crimes with no consequences.